Hey guys, what's going on? Josh Ryan here, and welcome to a new video. This is my end of year, new year, uh, year in review video where I go over how terrible this year has been, but we point out the positives in most of it. So starting in January, I started off the, brand, the new year with Robin and all my friends on night out, first new year night out I've ever been on. And it ended with, not even ended, it started on midnight, uh, me getting kicked out of a club uh, for being far, far too drunk. And then shout, instead of shouting my heart, I shouted my decade. So I actually think I've jinxed this whole decade by shouting that. <gasps> oh, my heart! <laughs> not my heart, my decade! My decade! <laughs> That night I then I got walked home, called Robin a cut, and then went back to the club, crying my eyes out, and the, I think the bouncer out of sympathy let me back in. The next morning I apologised to every single person, including Robin, because I called her a cunt, as I said. Uh, I, I apologised to my mum, because I said I never wanted to live with her again, and I puked down my ladders. So, overall eventful new year, I'd say. It's definitely not going to be the same this year. January mostly con consisted just of nights out and then, because I'm, I'm clearly an alcoholic at this point, and then I got my br brand new camera, which is my dream camera, which is the one I'm filming on right now in magical 4K in the middle of the woods for some fucking reason on some really cold bench. On a dark night. On a dark, dark night where there's, prob there's probably just a chav looming in the dark somewhere. Um, there's a train, because fuck you, Josh. Dan, go jump in front of it so it stops moving. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit that bit out, don't worry. Um, so February uh, was a different month, it was quite a lot happened. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so in February I met my childhood heroes, Ant and Dec. They That was an absolutely amazing time. Uh, I It was the start of February when I was I was doing lots of uni work and I, I just took a day off to go stalk them at the hotel. Which, bear with, just, I know it sounds weird, but they were okay with it until they filed the restraining order. And then I went to see BGT the next next day and smiled at them and they kind of gave me this look of that's the kid that stalked us yesterday. Robin came down to visit at some point in February and we went to see the Jonas Brothers. That was really fun. She bought me a ticket to a band I'd never cared about or seen. But then I got to the concert and actually liked it and Joe Jonas just laughed at me. Cause I had a I had a red lipstick all over my head, because Robin had just wrote a word on my head, so that was fun. Um, so then, at the, towards the end of February, I met Tom Stockdale, who was a YouTuber that KSI shouted out uh, last year, I believe. He gained like 350,000 subscribers uh, through one video, and then I went and I, I showed him one of my songs on one of his live streams. Knew me off so easily. You go and play the victim, then try to make me care. But instead, you only fool yourself and act like you're sincere. I wish you'd just go. Just Rate that rhyme. Me be. I love you so. Um, and he said it was a good song, so that was cool. Uh, I went and met him in a random club, uh, said hello to him, danced with him. Sounds a bit weird when you put it like that. <laughs> Got off with it, I mean. February of otherwise was just a boring month. No, it was it was a really eventful month, so that was a good one. And then March came by. The virus is spreading rapidly in China and US officials are very worried that it could come here. China has more than 200 confirmed cases of coronavirus, it's called, which produces pneumonia-like symptoms. Three people have already died from this illness, which has spread to at least three other Asian countries. Um, and then March came around and fucked us all over. Toilet roll went missing. I had my last night out of the year. Actually, no, I didn't because I've been out again. But I had my last night out for quite a long time. Soap just decided to be something that everyone wanted to buy. Not... That sounds like I never wash. <laughs> Josh that's normal. <laughs> Suddenly, washing myself became normal. I moved back from Manchester. I thought I'd move back for two weeks. Ended up moving back permanently. So that was depressing. Happy, ready to move back to Manchester and live in my dream city. That didn't last long. <laughs> <laughs> then April happened. Then May happened. Um, yeah, nothing nothing happened in April. It was an absolutely terrible month. Uh, it was Robin's birthday, couldn't do anything for it. Um, we Zoom called every now and again, I think. Um, I'd done some uni stuff and I got some AirPods. Oh, and I started doing TikTok. That was the downfall. 
so May came around and it was my birthday, May the 1st is my birthday, so uh, for my birthday I got, I can't remember what I got specifically, but I got a Nintendo Switch, which was fun, for two months then I sold it, because I just never played it even in lockdown, which is quite depressing actually. And also in the middle of the month, I, there was so many Zoom calls throughout May, I couldn't keep track of them with all my friends, apart from Daniel. Um, <laughs> You're not my friend anyway. Uh, June was a, quite a different month actually, quite a lot happened. Even though we were still in lockdown, the Black Lives Matter protests were happening and I took that as a... I support the movement, obviously, but I, obviously, I then took it as an opportunity to take a lot of photos, a lot of great photos in Newcastle, Middlesbrough and Darlington. All great protests, great movements, um, but also great, great photography. <laughs> Uh, I went to the beach, took some photos of the beach, which I'm I was really proud of at the time. I moved back from Manchester actually permanently now, like I, I literally gave my key back in in June and um, I went back to Manchester just to take all my stuff back on my computer and such um, and then come back home and said bye to, bye to Manchester for now. Um, that was the last time I was there really. I recorded a vlog in the woods with really, really, really long hair, which was disastrous, like it was ridiculously long. I'd done a vlog with my little brother Harry, that was fun, in South Park, I played hide and seek with him and we hid from monsters, which was very weird. But most importantly in June, I came out to the most, the, the closest people in my life, my friends, my family, um, and then waited a few months to come out on YouTube, but I came out to the most important people in my life as bisexual in June, which... Seems so long ago now, seems like it was yesterday I was shitting myself to say stuff like that, but there's always a positive. Then July came around. Um, July, everything reopened again. Cinemas, the pubs, the uh, bowling alleys, the, 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 bar, the barbers, the gyms. I finally got my hair cut, which was good. And cinema reopened, that was amazing. I love, I love going to cinema, so that, that was something I, I still miss now. Um, I paid a yearly membership and I haven't been able to go since like March, so... Um, July I actually went to uh, stay in a hotel in Newcastle and got that really clickbaity video out of it, which was apparently really good, so I'm going to try and do more stuff like that in the future, but it was a lot of fun just getting out of Darlington and just getting to a place I love going, Newcastle, um, a city nearby, and spending it in a night alone, in a, in a night alone, in a, a room alone, it was, it was actually surprisingly not as lonely as you'd think. Um, July was also, it was it was actually a great month I'm realising, I've also reached my 500 subscriber mark on my channel, which I'd been working 10 years to get to, or 11 years or something, to get to, and that was like, that's a dream subscriber goal of mine. Um, hopefully in 2021 or 2022, or 2023 we'll reach uh, a thousand, but I, I was so excited to reach 500 subs this year, and with everything going on around it, coming out as bisexual, and reaching 500 subscribers was just amazing. In August, um, basically all that happened is I it was a lot of uni stuff. Um, I found a location to film my short film on, my dissertation film, which was uh, I, I filmed last month, but I'll get to that. Um, it was an amazing location, so I've been I was trying to plan that for most of August, and then I done I went on some walks up some hills with a friend, and then again we went on just a, a good few nights out because clubs were open again and we were enjoying it. Um, we actually instead of going out and dancing. Because we couldn't, we went to uh, play, play bingo, and we won lube, because apparently that was what we needed. Ah, oh, and um, I got my first victory royale on Fortnite. <laughs> Um, September was again not much of an interesting month. We had our last night out with all of our friends and um, because it was horrific We everything just went wrong that night. It was mostly okay And then towards the end of the night everyone just hated each other So that night out was just never spoken about again. And other than that, I just I took photos like this Because apparently a pizza photo shoot is exactly what you need to end September. And October, the first thing we done was go to a bouncy castle place because what a, what a good way to start October off. And um, we went to a trampoline, not trampoline, back like a bouncy castle place with my sister. It was really, really fun. It was probably the best thing that happened that month because otherwise, um, towards the end of the month, I just got quarantined and played my Among Us. Uh, the Among Us hype started, and I began to play it with my friends. So, other than that, this wasn't much that happened that month. I didn't even get a Halloween night out where I dressed up as Spider Man. Which is a, a yearly tradition now, I haven't even bought the costume this year, so... Yeah, I mean, next year we're just gonna have to up our game, but 
this year's October was a bit abysmal. Oh, and I was meant to film my short film, but it got pushed back again because of me getting quarantined and having COVID. In November, I ordered a PS5. It didn't arrive till the month after, but um, I played Spider-Man Miles Morales. I uploaded an Among Us video, which is very different for this channel. I don't really upload gaming videos, so that was a new avenue I went down. And it didn't do got that badly either. It was quite a good video, and it got... got a good reception, and um, so I might do more stuff like that in the future. Maybe it depends how long we're in this tier four for what that was not for tier four for, but otherwise, my, my I'm looking down my memories on my phone on Snapchat, and it's just a mother's photos. So, I mean, I didn't clearly didn't do much in November apart from playing mama's. I was quarantined for the first two weeks of it, so it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> And then finally, December came around, I finally, finally filmed my short film. Um, I came out as bisexual on YouTube, which was um, mind-blowing to me. Um, it done really well as well, I got great reception to it, so thank you so much for that. Um, I started developing a whole bunch of new songs. Yeah, um, I'm actually enjoying writing music, believe it or not, who do? Um, me and my friends did a reward night on Zoom, that was really, really fun. Uh, where Robin uh, brought us all together, done an award show and a quiz show. I won Best Josh Ryan video. Yeah, I don't know how I won that either. And then, and, and then it was Christmas, basically. Um, I edited my short film, submitted that just before Christmas, and then just enjoyed Christmas and the New Year period. And New Year is today, so that is where we're up to. It's been an okay year of uploads and an okay year for me. Um, overall though, I've basically finished my degree, I've got one more assignment due in January so I don't technically graduate until next year, so wait for that in next year's video. Uh, I came out to my friends, family, my Twitter friends and uh, YouTube, which is just, like, that isn't something I ever thought I'd be doing anytime soon, especially. And I had a good few nights out, although most places are closed, I had a good few nights out. And yeah, that is, um, that's basically it, so... Thank you very much for watching this video, and although this year has been absolutely terrible, I hope next year, even though Covid won't just disappear at the strike of midnight, it will be a better year, and I'm gonna make it a year to remember on this channel too. Uh, I'm gonna try new content, I'm gonna expand my business, I'm gonna start trying to trying to get a business up and running that isn't YouTube um, and I'm gonna go meet some of my Twitter friends too I'm gonna go I'm gonna go meet the, um, the best people that I know online which will, which will be fun meeting on deck coming out almost graduating uploading okay videos and anything else I mentioned in this video was it made it a great year uh, thanks to my friends family um, for keeping me up high during this year, otherwise I'd be very, very low, and I need them to keep me sane. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video, but like, please like, I'm sorry, I know it was different, I wanted to do a montage, but there isn't much I can do, so this was the next great thing. Um, thank you for watching, I hope it was good, and I'll see you all in the new year, have a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Have a fantastic new year, um, I hope I get this video uploaded in time, but have a great new year inside <laughs> and we'll see you all in the new year thank you very much for watching see you soon bye why don't you just go just leave me far behind just leave me buried in the dirt for someone else to find it's better off for me i keep saying and you're so kind i've been thinking of a why so much truth on my mind every time you message me i just fall apart burning all our old things i always miss the part